Hi, I'm John Thorpe. I'm the president and CEO of Intelligent Bioenergetics, a company that has the world exclusive rights to a new technology, Equiscope technology, a focused technology that looks at the body as an electrical system. If you think of the body in common sense medicine, we're diagnosed with several electrical devices, an EEG, an EKG, most commonly with heart monitoring, an EMG with muscle monitoring. If you have a cardiac arrest or a heart attack, how do they bring you back? Electricity, paddles, defibrillators. So they shock you back to life. So the common sense in all of this is if we're diagnosed electrically, we're brought back to life electrically, then why aren't we being treated electrically? Now a little background on myself. As I mentioned, I'm not a doctor. I was a professional stuntman. And in 1986, I shattered every bone in my right leg, the tibia, the fibia, and the femur, all under the knee joint. I was told without a total knee replacement, I would never walk without the use of a cane and have a stiff leg. Well, a year from the date of the injury, I ran my first triathlon on a leg they said would never bend. And since every cell in your body has replicated in seven years, I thought, well, seven years from now, I'll either be crippled or well. It's been 30 years now, and I've done over 32 triathlons on that same leg that has no cartilage. And this new technology looks at the human body electrically first not biochemically. The history of electrical therapy goes back to first century AD. They used to breed an electrically charged fish called a torpedo fish. And they wouldn't stand on this electrically charged fish until the pain in their legs and body went away. This is well documented. And then in the 70s, there was a, a archeological dig in Baghdad that they found a porcelain cylinder with a copper wire down the center of it. It looked like a battery, and it was found in the magician's quarters. First century AD, the magician was the physician, and they could tell it was the magician's quarters by the inscribed bowls and the cantations that they found. So electrical therapy is nothing new at all. It dates back to first century AD. Let me give you a little running history of electrical therapy. Dr. Reinhard Voll had discovered that he could map and detect electrical imbalances in the body going directly to the kidney, the liver, the lung, and the spleen, and also found that he could find the abnormalities in the corresponding electroacupuncture points. Dr. Reinhard Voll was the grandfather of electroacupuncture. As they say, a circuit is a circuit, and we look at the human body is a circuit. Now many of you would be familiar with TENS devices, transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation. This is Melzack and Wall's theory, gate theory, about being able to block a pain syndrome by initiating electrical charge that distracts the pain signal from traveling up the dorsal horn the spinal cord to the brain, and the brain says, I hurt. Now many people in chronic pain override that TENS device and the pain does return. The alternative is the opiates and things like that that have a tremendous side effect and also are very addicting. But five years ago, there wasn't the technology that exists today. As you well know, with computers are continually changing. You can't put a hundred sensors in the head of a match. That, was, that technology was not available years ago. And that's what the Equiscope technology is capable of. Thousands of sensors scanning your body and identifying the mathematical signature of the disease, the virus, the bacteria. We're strengthening the body's ability to store energy. You're one big capacitor with 50 billion little capacitors inside. And when your body loses that ability to store energy, you lose the ability to heal yourself. That's your immune system. And what the technology that we represent can do is it finds 
the waveform characteristic of the pathology present in your body. It then creates an opposing waveform characteristic to neutralize it. This is the brilliance behind the devices today and how they're communicating with the body. What's the miracle here? The human body. There's not one pill or one machine or one anything that's going to cure you. But it's a combination of the right diet, the right fuel, and looking at the body as a circuit, looking at the cell as a capacitor. And if you strengthen that cell's ability to store energy and you're able to look inside that cell and see the space and whether it's negative or positively charged. Looking at the human body, we see using Vol's devices, when we start dropping below negative 40 millivolts, the body's losing the ability to hold charge. And at negative 30 millivolts, your body's incapable of holding charge. And this is when we say, I'm sorry, there's nothing we could do. But that's not true. And this is where Dr. E. Michael Molmar, MD, and his stem cell would be introduced. His new book, The Treatment of Incurable and Untreatable Disease, is something that we embrace and we feel we can go after. Our goal is to show that the body can heal itself from every malady and disease. Our goal is to remove suffering from all living creatures. It became my passion and now it's become my mission. The miracle here once again is the human body. The technology is here, it's here now. And without this technology, mankind is going to have a very difficult time surviving in this very immunodeficient and toxic world. You're electrical before you're biochemical all day long. Once again, thank you for your time. God bless you all.